was the healing one now I'm a born now was the healing fall me wow fall me was the healing kuwa buri wana kuheshi mi wa Good morning, beautiful people. And today we are welcoming you with beautiful sounds from the beautiful, gorgeous Beatrice Gatonye. And I know Mr. Kuona, the handsome Ram Agugo, but you know what? He is not here today. I'm standing in for him. I go by the name Eve Nyaga. And welcome to Power Talk. And today, Ms. Kia Mishambia, we are getting introduction. Bye. You know, music, beautiful sounds. So today we are talking matters, music and lifestyle. And we'll be getting to hear from the lovely Beatrice Gatonye. She is a news anchor reporter on KBC Channel. And she is slowly transitioning into the music scene. We'll be getting to hear more about that, how life has changed for her and what her goals are are in the music scene. Beatrice, so welcome. Thank you. What an introduction. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm honored to be here. Really. We are happy to have you as well. Thank so I you. know I have introduced you, but please give yourself another proper introduction <laughs> and tell people for those who do not know you. <laughs> and tafadhali tufanye kiswahili kidogo. I know my kiswahili is usually yani iko nje vibaya sana. So I expect to learn a few words and kidogo kidogo ni joke kiswahili kidogo. So awesome. Uh, awesome. I'm just wondering what other introduction you are really looking for after such a wonderful introduction from Eve. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. I'm so honored to be here. My name is Beatrice Gatonye Ngetich. Uh -huh. I am I'm a, new, I'm a news anchor at uh, KBC Channel 1 as well as um, a reporter 
and also an upcoming gospel musician mm -hmm. and uh, I'm a mother, mm -hmm. I'm a wife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, I did not introduce that part. So. <laughs> yes, and uh, I'm so happy to be here. Uh -huh. We are happy to have you yes. and I'm looking forward to the amazing conversation we will be having today. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so mm -hmm. let's just start off um, by taking a look at your career in the journalism industry where did you start and how did you get to be here as um, a, a news anchor a reporter on KBC channel one mm -hmm. of the biggest um, TV stations in the country thank you mm -hmm. thank you so much it has not been the easiest of the journeys mm -hmm. I can tell you mm -hmm. uh, especially when we are talking about career growth yeah uh, I started way back in Eldoret mm -hmm. as a news anchor at, mm -hmm. a, at a Christian gospel station okay. Sahara TV mm -hmm. and radio mm -hmm. I worked there as a radio presenter Mm -hmm. and also as a TV news uh, anchor, yeah. Swahili news anchor. Mm -hmm. uh, then, uh, by then, I, uh, in 2007, I, before 2000, 2004-2005, I used to do volunteer work because I had yes. just started school. Uh -huh. And then, um, just before I finished still school... Still at Sayari. Mm -hmm. Still at Sayari, mm -hmm. then uh, volunteering. Yeah. Then, just before I finished my, my diploma, 2007-2008 mm -hmm. uh, post-election violence, mm -hmm. I was one of the people who were affected, mm -hmm. and I couldn't be able to continue with school yeah. then. So, yeah. I had to break away from school, mm -hmm. trying to get a life of myself also. Mm -hmm. So, um, I stayed away from school, from work, from that career for quite a while mm -hmm. I found myself in a very different uh, kind of kind of a profession yeah which one uh, I found myself in Meru uh -huh. so because of post-election violence we you would seek refuge yeah you know then I course. moved mm -hmm. into a pastor friend of mine mm -hmm. a family friend mm -hmm. so then they got me a job uh, I used to do I don't know if you know Kitambo before the the VAT receipts. Mm -hmm. We used to have those ones. Zenye, you know those receipts that you used to have in the Those ones, the ones. So I used to work in a place where they were manufactured, and mm -hmm. to have those receipts or those booklets, mm -hmm. they used to have numbers. Each and every receipt would have a number. That's and what I would do mm -hmm. from morning to evening, I remember yes. I used to walk from Kinaru Stadium for uh -huh. those who know Meru uh -huh. to downtown uh -huh. um, to go, and that was my work. Like kupigeza okay. number from yeah. morning to evening. Okay, then get tedious. a salary of 4000 at the end of the month. <laughs> yeah, it was quite something for me because then mm -hmm. I didn't have any other experience. Any other, yes. mm -hmm. And I, uh, that is what I got hold on, mm -hmm. uh, hold on for, to, to just do. So then uh, after some time, mm -hmm. then I got a call from Sayare. Mm -hmm. And they were looking for a girl who used to volunteer there. Mm -hmm. Remember, I had not ah, even finished, nice. finished school. Yes. Then I go back to Eldoret mm -hmm. and they tell me they are going to give me a job. Mm -hmm. Because I think they really, the, the bishop A salary then, job. Right. Yeah, a salary job mm -hmm. now. And... Uh, I had no papers, mm -hmm. but they, I think they believed so much in the talent that yes. I had. Mm -hmm. So then I, they gave me the job, and then uh, they gave me a scholarship to go to Tanzania now mm -hmm. to finish my diploma. That's so nice. I thank God, I thank yeah. God really. So I went to Tanzania, I graduated with a diploma, then came back to Kenya, mm -hmm. and uh, while I was just trying to settle in from Tanzania, mm -hmm. then I, I applied here at mm -hmm. KBC, mm -hmm. and then that's how I came to KBC, mm -hmm. and uh, I was absorbed as a news anchor mm -hmm. and reporter, mm -hmm. and here the journey continues. Mm -hmm. So, yes, my career journey has not been the, the most the smooth one. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and immediately I joined KBC, I, I continued with my education, mm -hmm. At least now I managed to get my degree, degree at yes. Mount Kenya University. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and congratulations. Life continues. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I think sometimes um, we appreciate, you know, that struggle. Yeah. When you look back and see all that, all the things that you went through to being here right now, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it was all for a purpose, It right? was all for mm -hmm. a purpose, I can yeah. say. Mm -hmm. Because uh, wh wh when I look back, mm -hmm. I think if it was the other way around, if it was all smooth, maybe I wouldn't be here today. Mm -hmm. So I understand the struggles of becoming a, a, a journalist and mm -hmm. a super journalist mm -hmm. and uh, the price you have to pay for mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I really appreciate the mm -hmm. journey that I have walked. Mm -hmm. yeah. Please remind um, all the people back at home watching that sometimes you need to start by volunteering. You don't have to necessarily start off your career by, mm -hmm. you know, getting a paid job. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to work without that pay. Mm -hmm. You see, for you, volunteering is what made them give you that call. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I remember because I was in school, mm -hmm. but I knew within me that I had this passion and this great of being a presenter, mm -hmm. of being a news anchor. Mm -hmm. And I used to go there. Actually, mm -hmm. I used to go day during the day i would go to class 
and then in the evening i will get that chance to do the evening drives yes. especially on radio mm -hmm. and then now they started up and then after a while they absorbed me to be their news anchor then the siren news i don't know today but then uh, during our days we used mm -hmm. to record news so we would rush there mm -hmm. go record news then go back to class mm -hmm. and uh it's paid off mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. it was uh it is a price that i paid and uh, i i really appreciate that i did that because yeah i don't think i would have gotten the experience that i had gotten i don't think i would have gotten the exposure that i had go I, I got at, at that time mm -hmm. and even for them to see what was inside me yeah i, I think volunteering is the best thing that i ever did to, my, ever to did. myself yes yeah. yes which is amazing yeah okay let's um take a shift to since you're talking about music and lifestyle <laughs> yeah. so where did um from the news anchor my reporting you know super journalist where does the music come in <laughs> 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 and why is it coming in so late <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, one. I don't think it's late. Uh huh. Yeah, uh, because life is a journey, and uh, like we are, we are talking about, like you see in mm -hmm. my career, as I tell you where I started mm -hmm. and how I'm growing and still growing. I mean, it's it is a journey that you have to walk, and yeah, yeah I also believe that in music, mm -hmm. whatever time you you jump in mm -hmm. <laughs> as a so as a time to it. begin, it is not late. Mm -hmm. And I also believe in God's timing in everything yeah. because um, I started singing when I was a small girl. Mm -hmm. Like me, I really congratulate you, Stephen, to to dogo to Sunday school. Then I really wanted to go to Sunday school. Shangwe hallelujah, shangwe hallelujah, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, those days when I was young, I was always the, the kagal in front singing mm -hmm, and doing mm -hmm, all that. And mm -hmm. then as I was growing, mm -hmm. depending on, on where I, I have been to many towns in mm -hmm, this country mm -hmm. in the journey of my life. And mm -hmm. wherever I would be, I would find myself in, in the, the choir, and worship, yeah. uh -huh. in the choir. Uh -huh. uh, way, way back before I joined the Pentecostal churches, I used to be a Catholic. And I remember in Catholic, I used to sing alto. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And we used to have a lot of competitions. I don't know whether they still happen today. Uh, they still do. They do, they yeah. Still do you remember yes. we used to meet in different churches and we, yes. used, we would compete and compete and I compete. know. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm Catholic too. So oh, you're Catholic? I, I, yes. yes, you understand. <laughs> I that, understand. Yes? I've been there. I also used to. I don't have a good voice, but you know, when you're in the youth, you have to participate. Yes, so I used yes. to also do that. And that's participating uh -huh. always. I always found myself in the choir, in mm -hmm. the present worship team. Mm -hmm. And uh, so growing and growing up again, also as a f where I come from in our family, we have many, I have many sisters. And uh, I think mm -hmm. all of us really had a passion on singing. And mm -hmm. we would find ourselves gathering together, singing in weddings. We would be invited in different kind of parties. And they used to call us the Gatonyes. Yeah. <laughs> so we would go, we, we, we would travel. Mm -hmm. I remember some of the people sponsored us to get uniforms. It was such a good moment of me growing up. And mm -hmm. uh, I would say that um, music, mm -hmm. I wouldn't explain exactly why it is happening right now, mm -hmm. but I can say it is God's timing. It's God's because time. I have sung mm -hmm. all through my life, mm -hmm. but now as a recording artist, mm -hmm. just started last year. Yes. Yes. So you getting into um, into music is because of the passion and you knew you had it in you. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it was only a matter of time before yeah, yeah, yeah. you started getting oh, in yes. the studio and recording. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have a video of your launch yep, yeah. and we just ah. want to play it and see how it went down. Okay. It's, not, it's not there right now, but we will still get it. So, yes, um, you started, you said that you knew that you had this talent mm -hmm. from a young age, mm -hmm. you know, participating in the choirs from Okiwamdogo mm -hmm. and up to now. So what made you decide at this point that, okay, I need to get into the studio? Maybe not last year, mm -hmm. not last year, but one, mm -hmm. but at this particular time when you get into the um, studio. Let me say, mm -hmm. uh, again, also, it's just not about the, the talent because mm -hmm. I believe there are so many people who are talented out here, but they are still yet to get to the studios to produce mm -hmm. music and share their talent with us. Mm -hmm. I also believe, for me, I think it goes much deeper because I have a calling. I feel that um, God has been pushing me so much mm -hmm. to share these gifts uh, that he has given to me mm -hmm. with the world, not just um, singing in the choir, but now spreading the wings further yeah. and uh, being able to share his word through mm -hmm. music mm -hmm. to bless people, to touch people's lives mm -hmm. uh, through music. For me, it's more of a calling as much as I have a deep passion for yeah. this. Yeah. yeah so mm -hmm. it is more about spreading the gospel mm -hmm. uh, through, through music. Mm -hmm. And I would say that um, uh, sometime last year, mm -hmm. uh, I think... 
It is something that I've been feeling inside me that you, I, you really need to go. You really need to go to the studio, record music. You know, mm -hmm. that voice keep tells it, telling you inside you. That's what I, I kept hearing for many years. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Um, and I think for me, it was like, uh, I've, I, you, keep, you keep postponing, ah, bad time, oh. Yes. Oh, bad time. And then you feel like you're not ready. Uh -huh. You're not even sure how you're going to juggle between your yeah. so many responsibilities yes. that are surrounding you. Um, but I think sometimes you really have to beat that fear mm -hmm. because it's um, true. <laughs> it is fear mm -hmm. because you do not know whether you'll be able to balance. You really do not know whether you'll be able to do it and well, do it well. But unless like you walk into music. that studio uh -huh. and sing those songs and bring them out here, you can never know what you can bring on the table. Yeah. You can really not know what you can present to the world. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was time to beat the fear. And last year, I really thank God mm -hmm. that uh, November of last year, yeah. I just felt that it was enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was enough. And uh, I'm done. Mm -hmm. yeah, just sitting with whatever so much passion that is burning within yeah. me. And just walk into Do that it. studio. Yes. And for sure, me, I just woke up and I told my husband, <laughs> me in the studio. Then he <laughs> thought I was coming to read this. And <laughs> so he was wondering, we're in the studio. <laughs> I, I told him I'm not going uh -huh. to, read, to, to read news. Going to a music studio. <laughs> mm -hmm. And my husband, by the way, mm -hmm. we met a long time ago, sometime mm -hmm. in 2011. Mm -hmm. And he knew because mm -hmm. he found me in the church. Mm -hmm. My husband used to wait for me up in the Akanisa and Melissa choir practice <laughs> so that he could take me home. Yes. He waited for me so many days uh -huh. when I would go for, for choir practice. So mm -hmm. he knew I had this passion mm -hmm. and he told me, mm -hmm. I will support, support you. your first song. Oh, I will be nice. the one who will record that, that so song. Sweet. And actually, he's so passionate about what I am doing right mm -hmm. now and he's mm -hmm. very supportive mm -hmm. and I can only thank God. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so... um you know you have been in the media scene mm -hmm. did you feel like um with all that fear that you had mm -hmm. to take this step to go to the studio mm -hmm. to the studio did you take calculated moves or um did you have people in mind that i know that when i do my first song i will have this person mm -hmm. i have this person who will help me with this mm -hmm. i have this you know unlike um young people when they are starting mm -hmm. out because mm -hmm. you 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 also have, I wouldn't say that everything financially is okay, but it's unlike come to Kayang, Munyotua Meanza, Koshuli, Ako Campus, Kuna resistance from parents, he has school. Mm -hmm. You, part of you was ready. Mm -hmm. Did you feel like you had people that you had identified or you took calculated moves mm -hmm. for you to take that step? Let me tell you, Eve, mm -hmm. when I woke up one morning, one of those days in, in November when I was walking into that studio, I didn't know so many people in the music industry. Mm -hmm. I, yes, I have mentors. I have people that I talk to. Mm -hmm. Sarah Kay is one of my biggest, biggest mentors. Mm -hmm. uh, Ruben Kigame is also mm -hmm. another great, great um, uh, um, inspiration and my mentor mm -hmm. that I have. But I, I had not discussed music with them. Mm -hmm. I had not discussed with them that uh, I want to start now. How will you help me get a good producer, get a... I <laughs> I would just woke up one morning and I thank God, like you say, yes, mm -hmm. probably I'm at an advantaged po yes. position mm -hmm. because I, I had people I could call mm -hmm. and ask, how can I get a good producer? Do you have someone you can mm -hmm. refer to me? Yeah. And I can tell you the first recording was not, didn't go very well mm -hmm. uh, because uh, when I walked into that studio to record, I wasn't... Like I tell you, it was about beating the fear. Yeah. And I'm walking into this studio. Yes, I've been to studios uh -huh. of reading news and what have not, but not a recording studio. Yes. A recording music. Uh -huh. So I walk in there. I'm not very sure what is expected of me. Mm -hmm. And I have a song here. Yes, mm -hmm. we have done arrangement. We have done all these. Mm -hmm. Then I, I walk into that studio. Then I'm told, ah, there you go. I mm answer -hmm. uh -oh. Then you're like, oh, fine. Nikaimba, 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 then finishing, then uh, he, 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 after actually like 30, 45 minutes, ah, you're good. Ukosawa. And I'm like, are you sure? Are you sure I am okay? Are you sure I've done the right thing? And mm -hmm. ah, the guy tells me I'm okay. You're fine. But I wasn't, I didn't feel like I had delivered. Uh -huh. So after the song came. Did you feel like it was too easy? Cause like for me, I was like, I, I, I really didn't expect it to be like that. Uh -huh. And I actually had felt uh -huh. in my heart and in, in my, my, I felt my whole being told me I had not delivered mm -hmm. as much as I had expected. And when actually the song came, I can to me, I can be, ah, there you've done well. I just felt, can I really sing? 
you know even I, I you're still myself. having the fear yeah, and like the doubt. there's something inside me just telling me are you sure are you sure you're going to to hurt this thing yeah uh, but i could feel that the song was not r- mm-hmm. right so mm-hmm. then i dropped that song <laughs> whatever i had spent on that i was like what's your mm-hmm. but i really need someone who will hold my hand mm-hmm. and guide me because this is a new venture and mm-hmm. thank god uh from that i also met someone else um Ritmo Entertainment, mm-hmm. and uh, until today, I'm still working with them. Yeah. Very, very encouraging. Mm-hmm. He's guiding me. He knows now my vocal ranges, mm-hmm. uh, like uh, my, my vocal range. He knows how far I can go and how low I can yeah. I can hit those notes, mm-hmm. and he's being able now to help mm-hmm. me. And I can tell you, the song that will be coming in the next few mm-hmm. weeks mm-hmm. is not like even the Wastahile that you're watching today. Better, even better. <laughs> we are growing, yes. Yes, yes. of course. Uh, so we have the video of the launch so we just want to take a look at it and see how everything went down okay just a bit <laughs> all right whatever went down on that day so okay. there you go so yeah um, in my life in my heart for a very long time and i would say that i, I thank god that today i have launched my three singles and uh, i believe this is the beginning of many, many, many beautiful songs that will be coming your way in terms of praising God. Her prime objective is to use her God-given talent to touch the lives of believers and unbelievers and shower blessings upon them. I, I'm not the kind of a person who will pick a microphone and uh, stand in the pulpit and preach word after word. But I can do this in a very beautiful way by bringing my songs to you and depending on how God speaks to me, uh, this I will do by making sure that uh, I bring the gospel to you. Beatrice is adamant that the daunting task of balancing between her newly launched gospel ministry and the already sparkling journalism career will not be a problem. This is a different venture. This, I will always be doing it when I have my free time because number one, I have to work. And then another thing, I have to serve God because I have a talent that I need the world to feel. The one I want to share with the world. When I'm on my free time, when I'm on off my, my, my off days, I'll go and record my music. And then again, when you want to write these songs, sometimes you wake up at night and write. You don't need to be at work to do that. To wish her the best of luck were friends and colleagues led by Revere. Yes, that is just a bit of what I know. There is a lot that went down. Yes. And um, you spoke about Ruben Kigame, um, who also spoke um, at the launch and told you that he'd hold your hand. You know, and having such people um, with you and maybe people like Sarah Kay is very powerful because these are big, they are big shots in the industry and especially with the kind of gospel music you're doing because them, they are into that deep worship. See, Kurukaruka, the types of... <laughs> so was that um, intentional for you or um, are you planning to do... Are you, are you staying on the mellow side of the gospel, the praise and worship, or are you still going to do songs that people can dance along to? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Actually, um, <laughs> let me say I'm going to be diverse. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be diverse because uh, there's so much in the kingdom of God mm-hmm. in terms of music. Mm-hmm. Um, but I know there, 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 there's music that I will not do. Yes. I know. Probably Sita Weza Kurap. <laughs> unless unless I get that gift going yes. forward, I don't uh-huh. think I'm a good rapper. Yeah, yeah, but I, I think for now I'm mm-hmm. uh, I'm at where present worship is. Mm-hmm. Actually, my next song that will be coming is not as uh, as, as as worship and as slow as Wastahili mm-hmm. and uh, Hakuna. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, Nina Kuinua, but mm-hmm. Hakuna, the one that will be coming up in the next few weeks, uh, is mm-hmm. a praise song. It is a praise song. It's just, uh, you know, telling God, Hakuna Kamawewe. Yeah. And we'll be dancing to mm-hmm. the song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I know there are, there are music that I will not do. Mm-hmm. I will not be able to, <laughs> to do. The rapping parts. The, but the we rapping. will have um, songs with a higher tempo yes, that yes. people can um, oh, yes, dance, dance to. to. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. And also collaborations, right? Yeah. Ah, and I think the very first one will be with Ruben it's Kigame. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That is awesome. Yeah. He, uh, during the launch, uh, he, as much as he said he's going to hold my hand, uh-huh. because by the time I was launching, I had three songs, mm-hmm. one video out by I'm then. I'm telling you, you <laughs> came in with a bang, <laughs> Yanni, an upcoming artist with three songs out. Yo, <laughs> we need to work hard. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, he realized that uh, to fill that album, I needed like four more songs, mm-hmm. which he, mm-hmm. he, 
Kigame himself said he was going to monitor production mm -hmm. of those songs mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and even give me a collabo in mm -hmm. one of the songs. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, soon. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, how do you strike a balance between, you know, being a mom, um, being a journalist, mm -hmm. and just doing your music? Yeah. Yeah. Because th th those are things that need a lot of time. Yes. All of them. All of them. Yes. You are very right. When mm -hmm. I was starting, mm -hmm. I knew this is something that I was going that was going to be a challenge to me. And actually now that I'm already in it, I can already feel the challenge, the challenge of time. Time is my biggest challenge, I can tell you. <laughs> I, need, uh, I need to work. Mm -hmm. When I'm at work, I need to concentrate. I need to deliver to my level best. Oh, from work, my husband is waiting for me. My children are waiting yeah. for me at home. Mm -hmm. I need to concentrate and be the best mother that I can be to my children. Mm -hmm. Be the best wife I can be to my husband. Yeah. And then also, I also need my own time. Yes. You know? <laughs> uh, and then also, I need time for my music. And I can tell you right now, the mm -hmm. biggest challenge I'm having is time constraint. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying my best to make sure uh, that I'm not. Um, mm -hmm. A day like today, when I'm off duty, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm able to get interviews like these. I'm able yes. to to concentrate on my music. Mm -hmm. From here, I have to go to the studio. There's a song I'm recording. Mm -hmm. I'm able to. I'm just scheduling my my time well. Kujipanga tu. Ni kujipanga tu. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm in the studio recording songs very early in the morning at mm -hmm. six. Before I come to work at nine. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I leave work here at around seven o'clock. I'll be in the studio until 10 a.m., uh, yeah. 10 p.m., then mm -hmm. I go home. Mm -hmm. So it's just trying to strike that balance. It is not easy mm -hmm. uh, because uh, if you miss that balance, you're going to strain. Yeah. And um, I thank God because now I think I'm finding it uh, easier it because easier. in Najipanga, Missouri. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, what are, maybe what is some of what is um, one of the hardest thing that you have encountered in terms of you doing music? Mm -hmm. You know, I have spoken to so many artists, mm -hmm. so many artists, mm -hmm. because I do an entertainment show. Yes. So I have spoken, and um, finances is always a problem. Mm -hmm. Marketing is always a problem, mm -hmm. and you know, just getting people to accept you is a problem. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So what is your challenge? What is your biggest challenge so far? Eve, my biggest challenge uh -huh. has been bringing this brand to the market. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Convincing um, uh, Eve mm -hmm. that uh, this is a new sound and it means well mm -hmm. and it is a good sound. Yes. Please accept it. Mm -hmm. Because again, people uh, are not very easy to accept, uh, especially new. Ata wakati unafanya marketing ya vitu zingine products. Before I buy your new soap, uh, you should have to convince me why I should watch it and ile nyanime kwa nikitumia. Yeah, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. so marketing is uh, one of the biggest challenges also. Mm -hmm. uh, trying to make sure that the songs are on circulation mm -hmm. on all these media stations. Mm -hmm. But na penya pole pole, I would say mm -hmm. that uh, God is giving me favor. Mm -hmm. uh, so far, so good. Mm -hmm. uh, and also the finances. Yeah. I would want to do all the videos for the songs that I've already sung. Yes. But where is the money? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and my daughter wants to go to school. <laughs> My son wants to go back to school. Bills need yes. to be paid. <laughs> Bills need to be paid. Yeah. So I also have to budget my money very well and mm -hmm. ensure that uh, at least I'm able to do things in the house. I'm able to meet my bills and at the same time I spare some for my music. Mm -hmm. So I'm not able to like uh, have these uh, videos every now and then. Mm -hmm. So I won't say that uh, her bitches is comfortably here having a lot of money producing mm -hmm, songs. Mm -hmm. nah, 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 You're nah, still nah. struggling with that yes, as well. Yes, I'm still struggling mm -hmm. with finances, mm -hmm. I would say. And also the bit of marketing also is not yeah. the easiest. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the it's, easiest. It's not easy. And also building this brand. Mm -hmm. As much as I understand it is a process and it is a journey, mm -hmm. I can only hope and pray that uh, even as I go on, mm -hmm. uh, I will be able to to grow the brand much bigger mm -hmm. yes yes so um we have a, a few of our fans on our social media we have um papa godo they are asking is she a daughter to lawyer gatoni and they say i love her voice oh. so are you a daughter to <laughs> lawyer gatoni <laughs> <laughs> I believe Loya Gatonya. Loya Gatonya is family. Ah, okay. He's <laughs> family, family, but he's not my dad. Oh, he's not your dad. Yeah, he's not okay. my dad. <laughs> Papa Godo, there you have your answer. He is family, but he's not the dad. And then we have um, Hempstone. 
um Gisi, he's saying Nicolok representing Eldoret massive yeah. music manze ikona impact big sana kwa life yangu mm -hmm. kwa life yetu mm -hmm. yes awesome, so i awesome. think that is Eldoret in your home Eldoret ni nyumbani <laughs> and you're inspiring people out here yeah. and which is mm -hmm. what you talked about during your launch mm -hmm. your launch like mm -hmm. you want to you don't have to maybe stand on the pulpit but mm -hmm. you want to impact people's lives yes. through through your music yeah, through and music, here, yes. here you are oh, <laughs> impacting <thank> someone <laughs> <laughs> i thank god yeah really my biggest prayer eve mm -hmm. is uh that my music is not just the danceable kind of music that i want to bring to you or the just the usual worship but i wish that my music can minister to you as a person you're going through a hard time you listen to my song you sing along to my song mm -hmm. and you just get motivated yeah. you get encouraged you seek, you get healed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mungu wa kuinua kupea new hope through my sound. So it's just not about entertainment, but more of the message that I bring to you mm -hmm. that is going to to touch your life in a way. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So um, you have a new song yeah. out, na kuinua. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So tell us a bit about that. Maybe the inspiration behind it, mm -hmm. and who you worked with it. Um, who worked on you with that song, mm -hmm. and so and then after that we'll get a chance to listen to it a bit. All right. Um, I would say so far, mm -hmm. I have not worked with so many people. Mm, like my producer, I've worked now with him since mm -hmm. I... Yeah. I've worked with him since I... Yeah. I've worked with him since I... Yeah. Because I've worked with him since I... Yeah. So I've been working with Ritmo Entertainment uh -huh. as my producer. He's mm -hmm. called Malakai. Mm -hmm. And um, Malakai has been very, very, very resourceful in mm -hmm. terms of getting me backups and ensuring that uh, my music is arranged well. So entirely he's been doing most of that work yeah yeah and then also training me on vocals mm -hmm. yeah so i don't know what the future has but mm -hmm. as of now i'm working with ritmo entertainment mm -hmm. uh, but i'm open to to working with other to people, working with other people yes, because there's so much mm -hmm. um, so much coming yes, 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 yes um what was the inspiration behind nakuinua <clears throat> Nina Kuinua, Ju Baba is, uh, most of my songs, and I would say the first three songs that I sang, including Hakuna Ambayo Itakoi Natoka Hivi Karibuni, the second video, um, most of my songs ni just to praise God, to mm -hmm. exalt God, to mm -hmm. lift him up. Yes. Because um, I can tell you for sure, I looked back at my life mm -hmm. I have walked quite a serious journey, quite mm -hmm. a challenging journey. Yeah. When you hear someone talking about post-election violence, and mm -hmm. especially now that we are looking forward to our our elections, mm -hmm. I don't know. I and I wish Kenyans and especially the youth mm -hmm. would understand the, the importance of peace in a country. I have been to very very serious uh, because of the post-election violence in mm -hmm. 2007, 2008. Mm -hmm. I really went through a very tough time. Mm -hmm. One day maybe we'll come and talk about that, but. Um, when I look back at my life, the things that I have been through and um, the challenges that I have been through, <laughs> for me, is just to say that yeah, if I will not sing Ebenezer like Chebalonza, mm -hmm. I'll just tell him <laughs> how great he is. And my song has been inspired by the, by the, by the experiences that I have been through mm -hmm. and seeing how God has held my hand. Mm -hmm. My husband was sick of COVID, seriously yeah. in bed, mm -hmm. uh, on oxygen for over two weeks. Yeah, I almost lost my husband. That was a, such a very, it was, it was not an easy time mm -hmm. for me. Yeah. But I saw God heal my husband, bring him back to life, uh, bring back his, his lungs. 86% um, damage was not easy. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was a tough moment for me. Yeah. And I have seen God bring my family, my husband back to life. Mm -hmm. And um, I, 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 have, I have a child with a hearing impaired. Mm -hmm. it's quite a serious journey yeah. if you do not have someone living with a disability you might not understand, understand it, it yes. but i have seen god hold my hand mm -hmm. and uh, helping me bring up that boy uh, until where he is right now mm -hmm. so when i look back at my life mm -hmm. when you i just see need to when god, i see yeah. god mm -hmm. the way god has held my hand the way he's healed me the mm -hmm. way he has encouraged me I, it is just about lifting him and just exalting him mm -hmm. for who he is. Yes. Yeah. So, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what about Nakwino is all about. Yes. What the heal is mm -hmm. all about. Mm -hmm. And Hakuna. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, let's um, listen to that song mm -hmm. just a bit and then we'll be back. All right. <laughs>
Yes, and that was Nakuinua Jubaba by Beatrice Gatonye. It's the newest. It's among the three that yes. you released, right? Yes. Yes. So um, you have joined the gospel industry, and there are so many controversies. There are so many scandals um, from gospel artists. What do you think about the industry? Are people receiving you right? What do you think? What are your thoughts about the general gospel industry and whatever you hear about the scandals and everything that goes on in there, mm -hmm. the judgment? Because I mean, people pass a lot of judgment for gospel artists because mm -hmm. we expect them to be mm -hmm. perfect. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. um, if the gospel industry has been hit by quite a number of challenges, like you say, mm -hmm. it is indeed. <laughs> I think. I think unajua pia shetani anapenda ku attack mali penye anajua anapigwa sana. Yeah. So that is expected. Mm -hmm. And then again also I, I I will not generally say that um the industry is uh, is doing badly as much as we are facing a lot of challenges mm -hmm. with the kind of uh, controversies that we are seeing especially uh, from some of the top mm -hmm. uh, top gospel musicians, people mm -hmm. that some of us looked up to when mm -hmm. we were growing up and wanting to become gospel musicians. So some of those things are quite discouraging. But then again, uh, <clears throat> there are so many Waimbaji wengi wana chipuka sana. The likes of Beatrice Getonye, yeah. people who are more uh, focused to spreading the right gospel mm -hmm. and uh, living the right life. I mean, to ensure that uh, we have less uh, controversy, even as we bring the gospel of Christ out here. Mm -hmm. Again, also, I would say that uh, there are still uh, what ambao uh, ambao wana ima nyimbo. I would say I can say okay. Yeah. I have not heard of, uh, of any, any, any controversies, yeah. any scandals from her. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there are quite a number of gospel artists whom God is still using at mm -hmm. this age and at this time in Kenya uh, to still spread the gospel through music. Yes, we have a few challenges. We have a few who have gone to uh, to the um, to the secular. Uh, you know, you yeah, start as a gospel musician, and then, then again you up. go to the other side. Yes, mm. People have been called differently, and God. Uh, mm -hmm. Were you even called by God in the first place, or was it just about you yes. and uh, just uh, trying to push your own agenda as, uh, you mm -hmm. know, as a person? Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, I believe we have different kind of reasons why we get into doing things. Uh, so <clears throat> I cannot generally say that gospel music we are doing badly. Mm -hmm. I would say that we are family put <laughs> to Koimara, to Koimara, mm -hmm. because uh, again, like I have said, kuna wengi ambao wana chipuka na ambao wana imba njimu ambazo zinamtukuza mungu. Yeah. Bila, bila rabisha, bila mambo mengi, bila vituko. Mm -hmm. You know, because I also still believe that we can still spread the gospel without having a lot of scandals around us and controversies True. around mm -hmm. us. Yes. Uh, because again, if we truly, we are truly called by God, mm -hmm. we should, I uh, work hard to ensure that uh, we spread the gospel as it should be spread. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Yeah. Again, also, unajopia, wewe kama mimbaji, umeenza kuwa celebu, umeenza kuwa nini, umeonekana sasa, umefika kila mahali. Again, also, you want to to become, or you want to become someone else. Yeah. Why don't you just be your own person? Your own, yes, Why I know. Why don't you just be your own yeah. brand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, for me, I would say where I sit and how I see the gospel industry, to turn mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, because Challenges I think we have a generation of musicians who are coming up who and still akina kigame wako, akina Sarah Kay, akina wako. legends ambao wako wana mm -hmm, mm -hmm, industry. Mm -hmm. Make sure the gospel of Christ is going is, on. Yes, yes. yes. So mm -hmm. um, I want us to take a short break. Yes, yeah, so we are taking a short break right. and um, mm. we still want to hear more of the beautiful Beatrice Gatonye. So we will let you hear another one of her songs. I mean, she has a beautiful voice. Why not listen to it some more? <laughs> so yes, don't you go anywhere. We'll be back. Why two five four? Imagine.
Mwachi. Tonya is still here with us, listening to this beautiful, amazing voice uh, that she has yeah. and her telling us about her journey in the industry and her struggles and how she is dealing with everything, yani everything in between. If you have any questions for Beatrice, you know, we still have uh, some time, so you can send them in via our social media handles, Y254 channel on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Yes, so um, Beatrice. Yes. Uh huh. Um, so, no mm -hmm. and you have come in with such a bang. You know, we don't have artists releasing three songs that ago. You know, when mm Guinea -hmm. and and then we have to wait for another year because, of course, of the challenges that um, that are there, finances. You know, meeting bad producers that mm -hmm. under deliver, they promise stuff and then they don't. De it's 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 tough. Mm -hmm. So, and in your song, you have, you have um, choir come a backup. Mm -hmm. Is there something that you're planning to carry along or is it just for the music that is more on the worship side? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, this kind of style, mm -hmm. I, uh, I think it's something that I had envisioned mm -hmm. to, to have. Going forward, I might have them, mm -hmm. but then again also it depends on how gui God guides me and the kind of music that I'll be, I'll be bringing on the, uh, on the, on the stages. Mm -hmm. um, and what I can say is that um, I, I like having them. I, yeah. I think they, they, they give me motivation uh -huh. and uh, it's beautiful to have them on my videos and uh, also a way of empowering most of those people you see on those videos mm -hmm. are musicians mm -hmm. there are three of those ladies you see there are my sisters oh, nice. yeah my blood mm -hmm. sisters yes yeah. so, <laughs> so music runs in the family it does uh -huh. it does because like i told you earlier we mm -hmm. used to sing when we were young mm -hmm. and i know my sisters are passionate about are passionate about music mm -hmm. and this is one way also of empowering them and uh, also bringing them along so that they can also uh, try to find their own path yeah. as as we grow together yes so and then also yes most of those people you see there are mm -hmm. musicians and close friends of mine mm -hmm. they are people whom we are trying to hold each other's hands together yeah. mm -hmm. so that we grow together yes. but along the way I, I don't know what is going to happen I mm -hmm. can't speak for the future mm -hmm. much mm -hmm. uh, but I know I am willing and I, I have a plan to have these people with mm -hmm. me uh, mm -hmm. going forward yes yes all right do you have any plans of because um, in your songs um, there's someone who does the writing for you mm -hmm. are you planning to do any writing or you just want to have someone do the writing for you um, because I'm just beginning and I, I have someone who is very supportive, mm -hmm. I have a music writer who mm -hmm. is very supportive and someone who is capturing really the lyrics and the message that I want to bring out here. Uh, so going forward, if I'm able, I, I can write my own music. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. And mm -hmm. that is a journey that I will walk uh, yes. pole pole and I will get there. Mm -hmm. uh, but then again, also, I'm, I'm planning to keep moving on and uh, if I meet some other people I'm open to, mm -hmm. to, yeah, to, to working with uh, yes. as mm -hmm. long as it's someone who captures mm -hmm. uh, very well the message that I want to that bring. That you want to pass. Yes. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Any plans on doing, you had said that of course you'll do collaborations with artists mm -hmm. and you had talked about having Ruben Kigame on one of the songs that yes. you're working on. Any yes. other person that you are looking forward to work with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, mm -hmm. Sarah Kay. Other than Ruben and Sarah uh, Kay. Uh, apart from Sarah. Yes. Um, I have been approached, by the way, uh -huh. by, so, by oh. quite a number of the blessing. <laughs> I've been approached, uh -huh. but I think I was just not ready for collabs at this point because I was. I'm, I'm trying to build my brand. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm trying to build the brand Beatrice Gatonye mm -hmm. in the music industry, the mm -hmm. BG in the industry. Mm -hmm. And then uh, once once I I am able and I, I'm settled, mm -hmm. all settled, mm -hmm. then I can think of collabs. Mm -hmm. But I'm open to having a collab with Ruben Kigame at this mm -hmm. point and mm -hmm. Sarah Kay mm -hmm. and. Um, uh, these are the people who are approaching me. They are mm -hmm. my brothers. They are my sisters. Yeah. I will definitely do that do, going yes. forward. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. So um, you had talked about having a son who is um, has a hearing impairment. Yes. So is that the mm -hmm. reason why you have that segment on your bulletin? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, mm -hmm. viewers, if you do watch bulletins a day like today, I'll be, I'll be on the news. Uh -huh. <laughs> At the end of the bulletin, I have a segment I call it Luga Ishara, mm -hmm. and the the inspiration behind this segment is because of my son. You yes. put it right, um, mm -hmm. uh, Eve. 
uh, I gave birth to a son who is not able to hear, he's not able to listen, to hear and mm -hmm. speak. Mm -hmm. uh, so over the time and over the years, I've had to make sure that I also learn uh, sign it's language. Only, yes. As a mother, I want to communicate with my son. Mm -hmm. I want to know and identify and uh, uh, with the with the challenges that he's going through i'm not able mm -hmm. to be a good mother to this son if i'm not able to communicate yeah, with him true. so for me i have taken it as a personal initi initiative to ensure that i'm able to learn i'm able to understand and communicate with my son mm -hmm. so and uh, this goes beyond just me and my son mm -hmm. because i feel that um the society, the communities should embrace people with living with hearing impaired mm -hmm. because these are normal people and uh, they just we just need to learn how to communicate with Com them. Yes. Yeah, today if you're met by someone with hearing impaired and mm -hmm. they have a challenge and they need your help, how will you be able to help them? If you, yeah. if you can't. Or sign. there's someone uh, with a hearing impaired and they're serving you in a hotel, how mm -hmm. will you be able to accept their services? Mm -hmm. So I feel that the society needs to embrace them more. And uh, not just for my son, mm -hmm. but for every other person who is uh, living with any kind of disability. disability yeah. That we as a society need to embrace them and even empower them more. Because these are people who can do so much. Mm -hmm. You should see my son, you seated there, drawing you as you're seated oh. there. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh -huh. He has even drawn, drawn our president. Kila siku na niembianga. Hei picha upeleke president. Itamfikia. Hei picha itenda kwa president lini. Uh -huh. And it is so much of a... Like a mature perfect is so talented in mm -hmm. so many ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for me this is a, a message and it is a way of just teaching our community. That you learn that one word that to... It, to those two words can help you go a long way in mm -hmm. interacting with people living with their hearing impaired. Yes. The other day we mm -hmm. had uh, some mbios mm -hmm. uh, what was your corner wa kusikia. Mm -hmm. How many people went there to cheer them on? Not so How many, many people so who many. even knew that those races were there? Mm -hmm. But wakati when Zetwa kina kipchoge wako huku kasarani, we, we are all there. Learn there. Yeah. We need to embrace this community because they are part of us mm -hmm. yeah, and they live with us. Yes. Yeah. All right, so for our viewers who have not seen Beatrice, you know, um, on Darubini, we have a clip for you that we'd like you to see as she winds up her segment and introduces the... Awesome. Yes, Lugaya Isha, <laughs> check it out. Na, tazamaji, baada tarifa hizo za sporti, kidogo njika teulimi kwa kusoma majina ya timu za uje rumani. Tasuji kama nilitamuka kisao, tansamehe. Hayo, majina ni majina na rusu. darasani hivi sasa na mwalimu gatonye. Uh, Siju leo umetuandalia nini? Aha, hivi leo tunaanza darasa lingine ambalo ditasema ni darasa ambalo ni moto moto sana. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tunazungumzi mahusiano mbali mbali. Uh, relationships. Tunazungum... Relationships. Eh, kuna relationships za aina tofauti tofauti na hivi leo ambayo sisi wote tunaitambua ni andoa marriage kama wewe balo jinsi ambavyo umeoa you are in marriage hmm? Hmm. marriage alafu kando na marriage kuna divorce kutalikiana ama kupeana talaka kama unapeana talaka hmm. ndio hivyo mmeachana divorce na tumezungumzia marriage and divorce. Na divorce. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sasa kuna wale wengine labda kule nje ambao hawajai kuwa kwenye ndoa tuseme wako single. Mhm. Mm Ukitaka kusema single ama niko single mm -hmm. kwa lugha ishara. Niko mwenyewe. Niko mwenyewe. Ni moja tunazunguka si. <laughs> na ranga ranga. <laughs> Sijapata mtu. Niko single. Eh? Kwa lugha ishara single. Niko single. <laughs> I am married. I am divorced. I am single. Ah ah si semi mimi yani naendeleza Of course I'm married Na kufikia hapo Of course she will not live here before she teaches us a few words oh, Yes yeah, so I want you to teach us you know the common courtesy words you know yeah. saying I'm sorry please thank you and of course I love you <laughs> So that you can tell us, we will love you. <laughs> yes. So, first of all, mm -hmm. when you meet a person with hearing impairment, mm -hmm. uh, how do you say hello to them? Mm -hmm. Hello. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes, hello. Hello. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then if you want to tell them thank you, uh -huh. thank you, thank, thank you. you. Uh -huh. Thank you, Eve. Thank you for thank having you. me here. Thank you. Thank you. you. Uh -huh. And then if you want to say sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. 
I'm sorry. Ni me kukwa sea? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Pole. Mm, pole. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Sorry. I mm -hmm. love you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So can we tell our viewers we love you? Mm -hmm. We. Mm -hmm. It's me and you. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. love, love you. <laughs> Yes, that is perfect. So remember those signs, okay? They're yeah. very simple. So we it's hello. Yeah, hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, hello. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank mm -hmm. you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank uh -huh. you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and when you're th saying thank you, don't say thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. With a smile. No, with a smile. Mm -hmm. thank, thank you. you. Okay. <laughs> Give him a smile. Come on. <laughs> so, ni me sumbuli by our producer. Ah. You know, um, on that segment that we've listened to, mm -hmm. we were talking about you were talking about relationships. To oh, yes. I am single. Mm -hmm. You know, divorced married, uh, divorced, and married. And married. Yes, yes, uh -huh. yes. So, so, so one of these uh, 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 This is marriage. Uh -huh. oh, are you single? Oh, you're single. <laughs> are you in a complicated relationship? Eh? Uh, complicated. <laughs> kind of it's kind of complicated. It's, it's just there. <laughs> so I know Lisa. And this is from him. Ati kusema mpango wa kando. Is that a sign for... <laughs> this is from him. Disclaimer. This is from him. It's not from him. Mpango wa kando wakini sema kutaftia. Uh, you need assignment, Bafi. Thank you, your assignment. I need to make sure you make sure that you make sure Oh, yes. If you make sure that you we will get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll forward him the link. Oh, yes. Why are you interested in Mpango? I know. Why? Why? <laughs> why? Ron, Mr. Ron, why are you interested in Mpango? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so yes, thank you so much for that. Um, Can I teach you one more? Mm -hmm. Yes, please. You're a girl, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're a girl. Mm -hmm. And Ron, our mm -hmm. producer, mm -hmm. is a boy. Yes. Or he's a man. Mm -hmm. Ah. Okay. I am a girl. Yes, you are a girl. Mm -hmm. Ron is a? Is a man. Is a man. Uh, hello to my soma. A lot. <laughs> that's enough for today. Yes, yes that's enough for today. Yes. I wish the lesson would continue. And um, one last question before we wind up. Um, do, uh, you know, we don't have so many news anchors um, transitioning into the music scene. Are you getting any pressure from your bosses when it comes to you doing um, news and also doing music? Because I, I, I don't think I've heard of a news. The, the, if they are there, there are very few. Yeah, especially because they're there. Yes, especially, <laughs> thank you, especially because they're there. Yeah, I, I would say that my bosses are very supportive. Mm -hmm. uh, KBC family is very supportive. Mm -hmm. They've taken these um, with a lot of passion mm -hmm. and especially supporting me as one of their own mm -hmm. and someone who has come out to uh, to showcase their talent and even to do what they want to do as a passion because this is God-given. Yeah. And I don't think this, anybody can really stop mm -hmm. and especially when it's God's timing. So my bosses have been very supportive. The only thing that I'm avoiding is to have any mm -hmm. meetings any kind of uh, commitments to do with my music when mm -hmm. I'm supposed to be at work, at work yes. so that I don't have a, mm -hmm. a problem with my with my bosses. So yeah. it is about me respecting and knowing where the boundaries lie in terms of uh, mm -hmm. my work, my music, my family, and all that. So which are, which is a balance that I've been able to strike. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. So what has changed for you? You know, um, from you know Beatrice, um, the news anchor, to Beatrice. Um, the musician, the gospel artist. Is there anything major that has changed for you in your life? I can say a lot has changed. Mm -hmm. uh, and a lot is yet to change. Uh, because um, music industry, especially gospel, mm -hmm. uh, requires a lot of commitment. And I might not be able to have time to do a lot of other things. Mm -hmm. So I can say that um, right now, during my free time, most of the things that I used to like doing, I'm no longer doing them. Yes. Because um, when I have the free time right now, mm -hmm. is running to the studio and thinking how my next song will be coming up and uh, meeting people in the industry because I'm still young and I'm trying to connect and having a lot of connections. So I'm investing most of my off time uh, to that. So most of most, my lifestyle has changed. Has changed, yeah. A lot, my dear. <laughs> <I'll>, <laughs> 
<laughs> my lifestyle has changed. <laughs> I really hope my friends don't complain so, complain so much. So much. You're... Yeah, and feel the pressure so much. Mm-hmm. But I can tell you that my life has really changed. Mm-hmm. Because the little time I have now, I have an extra responsibility that I have to handle. Mm-hmm. And that responsibility, which is music, is taking most of that time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, you have kids. Yes, I do. Yes. So would you encourage them to get into the music scene? Maybe whether it's gospel, whether mm-hmm. it's secular mm-hmm. or, um, you know, back in the days, our parents, I, I'm, I'm also sure that maybe when you started out or when you were trying to find your footing in the, trying to get your career right, mm-hmm. I'm sure maybe your parents would not have been for Nina Maliza Shule, I am going to do music. So what will change when it comes to your children? Will you allow them to explore that mm-hmm. talent if you find that there's a child who does not want to do the mm-hmm. normal careers that we are used to, the age to five? They want to do the creative, creative kind of jobs. Mm-hmm. How will you handle that? That's a good question. Mm-hmm. When I was growing up, I don't think I would have finished high school. I don't think I would have finished high school. I don't think I would have finished high school. Come on, Kaji Someshe, Mimi. Kaji what? My friend. I don't think our parents really appreciate no. the talent yes. as much. But right now, I can mm-hmm. tell you from where I see it. Mm-hmm. My children are open. Mm-hmm. And not just music. Mm-hmm. Whatever kind of talent. Mm-hmm. Gideon, my son, who is hearing impaired, mm-hmm. he is very good at drawing. Yeah. Artwork is mm-hmm. amazing. Mm-hmm. And I can tell you for sure, I'm already supporting him and exposing him to areas where he can be able to explore that more. Mm-hmm. So for me right now, I would tell any parent, mm-hmm. if your child is open mm. and they are gifted, why don't you support them? Mm-hmm. Support them to go uh, to the highest level of that talent yeah. that they can, they can, they can go. Mm-hmm. So I would say I'm very open to my children. Whoever has a gift, mm-hmm. I will support them. I will encourage them. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. But then again, also, if whatever passion they have in whatever careers uh, they, can, they, they want to pursue in life, music will not stop them. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I think I'm a living example. I am a career woman, I am a journalist, yeah. I am a, I'm succeeding in that, uh-huh. in that career. Mm-hmm. And I'm also doubling up as a musician. Yes. So it is possible. possible. And most of the musicians, some of them that we have seen that are doing very well, mm-hmm. are also, they have their work. Mm-hmm. They have businesses that they are running. Mm-hmm. So don't, again, be too closed to the yeah. fact that you have, you're doing music. Mm-hmm. So that's all that you have that's to do. There's yes. so much within you mm-hmm. that you can be able to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, speaking of um, you succeeding as a career woman, as a musician, is there a plan for you to incorporate sign language in your music? Actually, my next video has sign language. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know whether it will be the first one uh-huh. ever. I uh-huh. don't know. Like really, I have I have my my son language interpreter in the mm-hmm. music mm-hmm. in the video mm-hmm. all through mm-hmm. to the end. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. Nice. This is this is how passionate I am about this community, mm-hmm. and I wish other people can 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 be um, passionate, can like be passionate that. about that. Mm-hmm. I cannot be preaching to the world on how great God is, and I'm mm-hmm. not even telling. And my son cannot get what I am saying. Yeah. Or the other person who has a hearing impaired mm-hmm. it doesn't even get what I am saying. Yes. So for me, this is very passionate, mm-hmm. and uh, it it will be the norm going forward. Mm-hmm. If you're watching my videos, mm-hmm. the next time if I come here, if <laughs> you will see, we'll expect to see you a sign should expect to see a sign language mm-hmm. interpreter because mm-hmm. I want this message to go as deep as it can. Yes. Um, speaking of the next, um, tell us a bit about that. Maybe when we expect it to be mm-hmm. out, mm-hmm. and yeah, how far are you with it? I've already done the video, I already have the first cut out, so mm-hmm. I'm reviewing it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it should be out in the next two weeks. Yeah, the next two weeks. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's you not are working week. hard. It's not one week. Yes. yes but I'm uh-huh. giving it two weeks so that uh, whatever mm-hmm. needs to be edited, mm-hmm. so that we put everything in order yes. and ready to bring it out for mm-hmm. the audience to watch mm-hmm. and get blessed. Yes. So, yes. And uh, the third one will be dropping in two months. In two months. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Well, that is amazing. <laughs> you need to go the extra mile if you you need to stay consistent. Actually. It is about consistency, yes. and I also believe that uh, the God who has called me, He will mm-hmm. keep me consistent. Mm-hmm. As much as uh, we have the issues of finances and what God is providing, yeah, God is providing. Mm-hmm. Yes, and then I have so many people around me who are willing to support and uh, 
who are holding my hand in all these area of music industry. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't struggled too much. Yeah. God has brought people along my way mm -hmm. who have been very, very supportive. Yeah. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. So I think we have come to the end of the show. <laughs> Do you have any final remarks where people can find your music, maybe oh, advice yeah. to young people who are watching you out there, mm -hmm. not even young people, mm -hmm. people who are, have so much fear in them to start something, to start music, mm -hmm. to kickstart their journeys mm -hmm. in their passion. Mm -hmm. Just give them a word of advice. Yeah. yeah. One thing I can tell whoever is watching me right now, if you're there, you've wanted to do this something. It could be music, it could be art, it could be you, you're, a, you're a good um, uh, news anchor or you think you're a good reporter and you have a passion in whatever area that you, that you, you, you have. One thing I can tell you, go ahead and do it. Do not be, do not, do not. Usiogope watu watasema nini? Usiogope watu watakuona aje? Bana, unless you bring whatever you have here, we look at it. We can, never watch, we can never know what you have inside of you. So I can tell you right now, just go ahead and do whatever you want to do in this life. There's so much within you. There's so much. Until I recorded the song is when, the, the first song is when I realized, hiya, yeah, it, is, it, is, it is achievable. I can be the woman that I want to be. I can be whatever I want to be in this life. So please get out of that, that, that kind of uh, cocoon that you're in of fear. Uh, and go ahead and do it. Mm -hmm. Do go 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 be whatever you wanna be. Yes. yes. Do not be scared. Yeah. I may not be a Sarah K today, but I believe in future I will be. So please go ahead and be whatever you wanna be in this life. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Where can people find uh, your music? Yes. Please take your phone right now. <laughs> go to your YouTube app. Search Beatrice Get On Your Music. First thing you do watch the music that is in there. There are quite a number of uh, articles, uh, there are quite a number of, um, there is an interview there that I did, the very first interview after I, I launched my music that mm -hmm. I did with KBC Channel One. And uh, there are quite a number of lessons you learn there, you, you learn there for sign language. And then apart from that, watch the music that is there, then subscribe and share and like, and get blessed. Let's continue with the journey. Yes. Beatrice Gatonye music. Mm -hmm. And then you can follow me on my Facebook page, Beatrice mm -hmm. Gatonye. Go there, follow. You'll be getting updates on what is coming. Follow my journey as we grow together. Yes. So thank you so much for making time to join us. I appreciate. This has been amazing. I have learned a few things from you, especially um, how to sign those common courtesy words. I hope our viewers have learned as well. And you can get more of this on KBC channel Darubini um, every day. It's every every day. Oh, every Wednesday and Thursday at 7 all the way to 7.30 p.m. Yes. Yes, so yes, thank you so much again. I really appreciate. Yes, so um, as per usual, we always leave you with a quote. And today's quote is, there is a sound that comes from gospel music that doesn't come from anything else. It's a sound of peace. It's a sound of I'm going to make it through all of this, all of this. One more time, there's a sound that comes from gospel music that doesn't come from anything else. It is a sound of peace. It is a sound of, I am going to make it through all of this. That is the quote we are living with, we are leaving you today with. So thank you for making time to join us. We love you so much. We appreciate you. And we do this again <laughs> next Thursday, same time, same place. I have been your host, Eve Nyaga, and I appreciate your time. And to all our technical crew, thank you so much for making this happen. And to our audience back at home, thank you, thank you so much. We love you so, so much. We love you. Yes, so bye-bye. Have yourselves a good day. Was the healing one
kutiwa na kuheshi